can do it. Nothing like no real Chinese soup. Nor is one of a kind. Best Chinese soup you can find. Nor is easy to cook. Just add one egg. Sit and chunky and rich. No real Chinese soup. There is nothing like no real Chinese soup. Good On the 17th of January, at about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, it was a quiet afternoon in the quieter part of Manila. Rhoda Weiser was home alone with her son. Little did she know what the next few hours would mean in her life and what events they would unfold. Seth Weiser was at home with her mother who was visiting with relatives and friends. Suddenly, Seth's diaper was filled and toxic fumes began, began quickly to fill the room. Slowly, the toxic fumes caused everyone in the room to slowly become unconscious and unaware of what was going on. Only Rotoweiser, his mother, was able to overcome the fumes and make it to the phone to call 911. Paul came in at 2.05 p.m. to dispatch her 101, Renatha Weiser. Mom, Dad, and tell me what's wrong. Okay, baby with dirty diapers. We'll send the police and fire station over right away. Try to keep the baby. You can keep the mask on and keep the baby out of, out of the way. And we'll come and get him in just a minute. Okay, where are you staying? You need to come down. Dr. Jason was on duty that night. He recalls this case as one of the most unique, challenging, and odor-filled cases of his career. Well, at first we thought it was that he was in serious condition, but then I had faith in myself, and I knew my talents would come through, and I would save his life. <laughs>
Nathaniel Weiser fully recovered from his tragic encounter with toxic waste. Rhoda was never quite the same. A year later, Rhoda was able to meet her son's rescuers for the first time.